Hello and welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we are going to show you how to create a sloped or sloping beam system. Um, I always find it's easiest to draw the beam system flat and then drop the support points up and down and the beam system will then follow. Don't try to create it, although you can um, create it after you've dropped the beam. Uh, you can't use a beam system, you have to do them manually, which will still work. Uh, but in this case, we want to use a, a beam system. So uh, we're going to create some columns first. I'm on level two, I'm going to create some columns. I'm going to say depth from level two down to level one. Okay. And I'm going to say at grid lines. And then I'm going to go over here to this view and do a crossing box. It's going to create six columns. At those grid lines, I hit finish, and there's my columns. I hit escape, escape, I'm done. Now, we're going to draw some beams, so I'm going to say uh, just some perimeter beams. So I'm going to say beam, and I'm going to say on grids again, and I'm going to do the same thing. Click, click, and escape, es oh, sorry, uh, on grids, try it again. I hit escape there. It's going to put those beams in and hit finish, and then click out. Escape, escape. Now I'm going to take this uh, middle one. We can either delete because I'm going to do this in two halves. I'm going to I'm going to slope this beam down. At this is my low point. So these two guys are going to slope down to here, and these two are going to actually just stay flat. And that's going to be my span direction. Okay. So I'm going to create a beam system. So I say beam system. And I select my section that I want to use off of here. If there's none there, then you have to go load in some structural framing members. Um, and I'm going to say centered is fine. I'm going to say fixed number of six. And I'm going to turn on the 3D aspect. Now, you in this case, you actually don't have to turn on the 3D aspect. But um, it's a good habit to do if you're going to try sloping stuff. So I'm going to pick on here for that direction. It's going to put those beams in. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Click on there. It's going to put those in. That's it. Escape, escape. I now have a beam system. So let's open up one of our 3D views and make it bigger. Okay. So I can go either way. But all I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick this beam. And you have to tab to select it. If in, And this is the elevation of... And let's drop it by two feet. So we'll say minus 600 millimeters. And it'll slope that down and it'll take those beams with it. Uh, same as this guy. Pick on here. Take this elevation. Minus 600. Click out. And it's done. Now this guy here, I can take this guy and go to the top and say up to level 2, minus 600. Brings that post down. Uh, okay, unjoin them. That's fine. Yeah, that's why this guy I didn't want to um, do that way. So I'm going to delete that guy. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a separate beam for the middle one. Uh, let's go beam. And let's say snapping to 3D. And I'm going to grab there and grab there and then just manually draw that one. So you could have done, you can always do the manual 3D snap anyway. So if this wasn't a beam system, I could go to a top view like this. And I could just, you know, draw a beam and go across from here to here to here to here, all the way across. And it, as long as the snap to 3D on, it will, um, it'll go to the 3D point. Otherwise, it goes straight across and it extrapolates that point and vertically goes up, draws a plumb line and draws it straight or flat, I should say, horizontal, not sloping. So if the 3D snap isn't on, it'll look like it's going into there but you'll see it'll be up here nice and flat just like this end guy so um, that's really the lesson from there you can play around with these some more if you wanted to really twist it around you could take this guy and move it up by a meter or three feet and you're going to get quite a reaction out of that and this guy will go down by minus 1500 that's down five feet down it goes so um, that's about it draw the beams flat first do the beam system and then play with the supports.